In InDesign CS5, we've added this notion of gridify. And what that means is you can create grids of content very quickly and easily. I'm gonna walk you through a couple different examples of what I mean by this notion of gridify. First, we're gonna go ahead and place multiple images on this page. We're gonna go ahead and grab our mini bridge panel. I've got some images already selected and I'm gonna drag them out to invoke the multi-file place feature. And as I click and drag with my loaded gun, my loaded place cursor, you'll see that I'm just dragging out one image frame. But if I just simply press my right arrow key, I add a second column to the place cursor. I wanna create a two by two grid, so I'm gonna use my up arrow to create a second row of image frames here. And you can see I've quickly created a, a grid while I'm placing just by using my arrow keys. When I go ahead and let go, you'll see all those images automatically lay themselves out in those particular frames. So that's one example. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a uh, content creation tool like the frame tool, the rectangle frame tool. Same concept, as I'm dragging out a rectangle, if I hit my right arrow key, I can subdivide that rectangle into multiple equal parts. So if I just hit my right arrow key several times and then my up arrow key a couple times, I'm just adding rows and columns as I'm creating that content. Go ahead and let go and I've got my quick grid of content. If I use my text tool, again, the same notion, I'm gonna go ahead and drag from margin to margin with my text tool. I'm gonna to hit my right arrow key twice to create three text columns. And hopefully, as you might expect, when you let go, those three text frames that we just created are actually threaded together into one story. So if I fill this with placeholder text by right-clicking, you can see that those text frames are united and threaded. Last thing, we'll go ahead and draw out another grid of rectangles here, just subdivide that, go ahead and let go. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly reverse them so you can see them on the screen a little bit better. And what we're gonna do now is take advantage of another feature called Live Distribute. And what that lets you do is, rather than scale or resize the images, as I click on a selection handle here for the multiple selected items, if I hold down the space bar, as I drag that handle, you can see I can actually change the space between each object without actually affecting the size of the objects themselves. If I press on a corner handle and then hold down the space bar as I drag, I can actually change the distribution in a vertical fashion as well. So that's the new live distribute feature, kind of a sister feature to go with Gridify. Simply hold down the space bar as you're dragging one of the handles.